and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very exciting video. We are off on a day trip to Rye and Camber Sands. I am so very excited, but I'm also running a bit late. So let's go. a charming medieval town located in East Sussex and from the minute that we arrived we were just smitten. It's just it's such a lovely place to get lost, go wander the little streets and just really take in the town. There are also some great places that you can go that are kind of official landmarks. One place to check out is called the Mermaid Inn, which originally dates back to 1156, and it is appropriately located on Mermaid Street. I definitely recommend that you wear sensible footwear when coming to Rye. Because the town dates back to medieval times, you will still see quite a few cobblestone uh, streets, especially on Mermaid Street, which if you're not wearing the right footwear could be a bit hazardous. The town center itself is small, but I would definitely recommend going down Mermaid Street, really spending some time enjoying the architecture, enjoying the old buildings, reading up on the history. Um, I also would recommend making your way over to by where St. Mary's Church is. It's located on a kind of garden-like square, but there's also a lot of very lovely kind of old historic buildings that are located near the church, which makes for a lovely place to explore. <laughs> You should definitely also check out the Ypres Tower. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It was built in 1249. It is one of the oldest buildings in Rye, and it is a castle-like structure. It was actually built to defend the town from the French and was later named for its owner, John de Ypres, but it is now actually part of the Rye Museum. We sadly couldn't go in um, because it wasn't open on the day that we visited, but as we were kind of walking around it, we discovered the most delightful pub garden on the other side. So if you do fancy a little something to drink, you should definitely go check it out. And the outdoor garden was actually dog friendly as well. So hot tip for you there. Another important landmark to check out is called the Land Gate, and it's actually um, an ancient monument um, that essentially was one of the surviving four original fortified entrances to Rye. It dates back to 1329. After all of that exploring around Rye, we had worked up quite an appetite and we did not have a game plan for lunch. Usually I like to do a lot of research, um, flag a bunch of places on Google Maps, and that's exactly what we did. So we started wandering around towards some of the areas I had flagged. We took one look at the menu at the fig, fell in love and walked in, 
magically a table was available and we are so happy that we stopped at this restaurant. It's a very casual cafe-like interior, but don't let that fool you because the food is outstanding. We ordered a few small plates to share, starting with a very lovely rosé, a Portuguese rosé called LB7, which I was so smitten with that I have since been ordering cases of it, so thank you, The Fig, for that one. Um, but then we also ordered a couple different dishes. We had a pulled pork dish, which was fantastic, a tomato salad dish, and a um, kind of almost like a salady, charcuterie-esque plate with prosciutto figs. Uh, I think it was either, I think it was goat cheese on it. It was absolutely fantastic and exactly what we needed. I would absolutely highly recommend this place if you are making a visit to Rye. And after that, we decided to hop a taxi over to Camber Sands. Camber Sands was also really lovely, although I would say I have mixed opinions on it. Um, I think it's a case of Instagram versus reality because, okay, go on Instagram and look up the Camber Sands, the place, and you will see all of these like sexy Instagram models doing their photo shoots and it just looks like this gorgeous kind of sandy beach with the dunes and yes, it is beautiful. It is exactly as pictured in those pictures, but what they don't tell you is it's also a beach that's really well known for kite surfing. And why is that, you ask? Because it's freaking windy. It's like, I've, I literally felt like I was being slapped with some sand. Uh, <laughs> um, it's super, super, super windy. And I think the day we went was just a really windy day. I was completely coated in fine sand particles. Even days later, I was still finding sand in my ears. It was, it was a situation. And we lasted all of 30 minutes on the beach because it was freezing. We were covered in sand and my hair was just, was just not the one. coming to a UK beach, this amount of wind. This is absolutely crazy. <laughs> also mentioned you have to hike up super high dunes in very soft sand to get up and down so if you have knee problems if you are less able if you have young kids I don't know how you're gonna get to the beach um, even myself who I'm I'm running seven miles I'm doing all these workouts my left knee the next day was feeling a little wonky after that hike up and down the sand dune so consider yourself warned and I don't have knee problems I guess maybe I do have some underlying something I don't know about, but I generally, day to day, I don't have any problems. So we found a little pub, we had a few glasses of rosé, um, and some halloumi fries, a place called Dunes Bar and Restaurant. I didn't take any pictures of it, but we were just, we had so much fun. I was with my friend Jen, and we just, we laughed so hard because, you know, I, I think with travel, you're not always gonna love everything, and not everything is gonna go according to plan, but it's how you kind of roll with the punches that that kind of make the trip. And we just have, we're both gonna have this memory forever where we're both just standing on that beach, freezing with our hair all over the place, being like, this is, this is just not the beach experience we expected. <laughs> so we had a lot of laughs, it was fun. Yes, it was beautiful. Um, I still would highly recommend seeing it. And I have gotten some feedback that I think it's not always that bad and that windy. So consider yourself warned, but just check your expectations. So with that said, I'm gonna close out the video here. Thanks again for tuning in, guys. If you like this video, would love it if you hit that like button. Um, I'm very new to YouTube. 
Um, would love it if you leave a comment. What do you like? What do you don't like? What do you want to see more of? And if you like this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button because then you'll see my latest videos in your queue in YouTube. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you soon.